welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a crafty share for you. This is a mini album that I just finished work on and this is called Apple of My Eye and it is a six pocket page mini album that is extra chunky which means I made it extra wide and I made it in a box style form so that we wouldn't risk anything falling out of it. This particular album is going to be available on my Etsy store and the link will be below if you're interested. The uh, the book is done with a combination of two paper pads. The first one is the Spiced Cider Stack from DCWB. And the second one is Autumn Splendor, also from DCWB. I kind of uh, mixed them up because they looked so good together. I had a lot of different ribbon accents. And as you can see, the front has this fussy cut apple um, bushel on the front. I love it. As well as this punched accent here on the binding. It has an antique faucet handle and an elastic slip closure, along with this copper key and a ribbon tassel. The, um, the binding itself has this lovely little cutout that came in the pad. Hmm? It says, Our family, dreaming, laughing, working, playing, loving together. And I absolutely love that. I thought it was perfect for the binding. And as you can see, I made this extra chunky. It's about three inches wide. Uh, which is about double what I usually do. And there's the back. The only thing I haven't done yet is put my signature card on the back and that will be there when you purchase it, if you purchase it. This is a one-of-a-kind album. There won't be another one like it, so keep that in mind. Um, most of my albums are like that. I hardly ever make two the same. Okay, so when you open it up, the first thing that you have on the inside cover and on the back cover is a waterfall accent. I leave these very plain so that you can use these just to add. This will fit an almost uh, 4x6 photo. You'll have to do some trimming, but most uh, standard photos need a little trimming anyway because there's a lot of background. And you can trim it and you can just stick it down here. What you do, for those of you who don't know, you just use a little double stick tape and you stick your photo in here. And then you can write on the back, and you can do your journaling, like on an index card, and paste that in there as well. There's plenty of room to grow in this album, and lots and lots of real estate. This, if you were to put a picture on the front side of each one, you'd be able to get eight pictures and one down here. If you want to put a picture on both sides, then you'll be able to get 17 pictures in this one spot. So there's one on the front inside cover and one on the back inside cover as well. And then you can just tie it together. And then the fun. I had a little fun with these pages. I did a little bit of a different um, approach with them. I added flaps and pockets additional to my normal style. So this one has a uh, tag and bingo card right there. And then this has a flap that flaps up. And then there's a little, um, this has a triple packing tag that you can use for journaling or pictures. You can also just stick your pictures right inside and then we move on to the next page. This, I love this one. I love this paper. I love that whole spread with the old recipe cards. I think it is so cool. This, another bingo card that says laugh. A packing tag that has a little um, cutout accent on it. And then this here, this also a cutout from the paper pad. And I just went ahead and I made several of these little trifold um, photo holders. What you can do is you can put photos here and here, or you can do some journaling, but you can do it on both sides. And then there's a little baby clothespin, and you just stick it right in there. And then also every pocket page has a jumbo tag right in there in between the front and the back of each one. Because we don't want to waste out, miss out on any of that space. We want to use as much of that space as we possibly can. And then it just slips right inside when you don't have a piece of string in the way. The next page, <clears throat> this is like an old-fashioned uh, photo cabinet card from a, uh, it's, it's a reproduction antique cabinet card from a photographer, and you can see on the back what that does. You can actually go ahead and slip your own photo in here. I've gone ahead in a couple of places in the book and I've just slipped some scrapbook paper right inside. But you can either 
just cut a picture and mat it in there, or you can slip your own picture in there. And another bingo card that says happy. And this is fun. There's a little side pocket here with a little packing tag that I made. And a lot of times for you crafters, um, I didn't ink the edges on this. I like inking edges, but sometimes it becomes tedious. And for those of you who are familiar with that task, I just didn't do it on this one. I wanted to give it a cleaner look. Another bingo card. And here's a quad packing tag that you can go ahead and write on. Like I said, when journal means you're going to write about the picture that it's adjacent to, or you can just write about your experience. And then the next page, here's another trifold. I love this one. And again, I only put accents on the front of these trifolds, and then the insides, you can do what you like with them. You know, I've got to give you guys some freedom to do what you want and use the album as a base. Here's two little pockets, each with a packing tag inside. And then this, I have to take this out because I love this spread with the cornucopia. I think it's so pretty. Another um, bingo card. And these are fun. You can embellish these. You can write on the back, journal. You can put a photo on the back, whatever you want. Or you can just leave it because it's cute. And here is a little um, file tab booklet that I made for you. And you can put photos or journal or whatever you like in here. It doesn't matter. And of course, you, these are all interchangeable. Another trifold. Again, it's just plain on the inside, just like that. You put your own pictures or journaling in there. And then this is a little inner office memo envelope that I made. And you can put whatever you like in there. I didn't put anything in there. I'm going to leave that to you to fill up with treasures. And that's why it's called Apple of My Eye. And then here's an awesome spread with the rake and the leaves. This album just screams autumn, obviously. Another trifold, a little pearl sticker action there. And another cabinet card that you can either mat out or add your own picture to. And then the last page, this uh, mirrors the binding of the book, cut out the Our Family and then another trifold, when in doubt, make a pie. I can't argue with that logic. Who can? <laughs> and then another waterfall, again, with eight or 16 different spots for photos. And then this is neatly kind of self-contained. And that is my album share. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, the crafting channel is coming, I promise. We're still working out a few kinks with respect to that and you'll be the first to know when that happens because I'll make an announcement right here. I did want to share this album with you. The Apple of My Eye mini album, it will be available on Etsy. If you're interested in it, you can use the link below and I hope that you enjoyed this and until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!